I now come, beloved soul. I had to awaken her, for she had forgotten the process upon that of the uh, mechanics of the uh, phone mechanism. So now we will continue forth in Noam. I am that of the Archangel Mikael, who comes forth, beloved soul, to bring a message, messages, to help you to have an understanding of why you are here upon the earth and who you be by way of soul, the spiritual self, while you're in that of the embodiment and being in that of the earth. You are not of it, you're simply in it. I have come, beloved soul, for many multi-levels in wanting to give you an understanding. I come to this oracle for that of the purposes of helping you to find you, soul. Helping you to have the understanding of how to come back home while you still yet have your physical body, mentally and emotionally. This is a process. It is why you are here. It is a part of the initiations. It will come into the earth and not recall when she had come forth from or even who you be. But through all that of the experiences, which are initiations of a kind, and there are many different levels of initiations. But through these experiences, you grow. And as you grow through the experiences, by becoming more positive through them, then you're getting closer to utilizing the key of why this process is. You have a magnificent mind. It's called an intellect that accompanies what is called your personality. You have a cosmic mind that you have the ability to totally tap in and to bring forward whatever it is you choose in accordance to how you have matured through this process. It is very incredible. It is magnificent. What I want to give you tonight, beloved soul, is I have an understanding of this event that is coming forward. And there is so much to do in what is called that of the mind gymnastics of humankind. This event was deemed to come forward in this moment of time, eons ago. It is said through your calendar of mathematics that happens every 25,800 years or so. So it was deemed to come again at this very precise moment of time. So I want to speak to you about that of the cosmos of Genesis. Cosmos meaning, I'm going to speak to you about that of your Milky Way galaxy. There are billions, beloved beings, of galaxies. And within each of those are billions of solar systems. And within that of the solar systems, there's millions, beloved soul, of what is called that of the constellations and the stars and the planets. So I want to take you and do some understanding of what is occurring. But I will speak to you about your galaxy, your solar system. And yes, in the center of your solar system, there is what is called that of a galactic federation. It is a headquarters. It is the hub that monitors and oversees your solar system and the Milky Way. Who are these beings? 
but all that of the inhabitants of these hub or head pools. Who are they and what are they for? These are the overlords, and there are many throughout all that of the galaxies, through that of the universe and universes. But this is for you in yours. The overlords. These are those that send out, that are the overseers, to monitor many, many of what is called that of the planetary systems, constellations. That are the systems that are interactive with each other. To the rhythm of what is called that of this time. The overload sent out to monitor the events of time by way of the planetary arrangements, techniques, and methods, procedures, even the monitoring of the species. You have multi levels of species within your solar system and galaxy. And all are monitored as you are. Every one of you are monitored. Have your council that is overseeing you. You have your also those that are the recorders. Now what I'm saying to you, every thought, every deed, everything you do is recorded. Always has been. Always will be. It goes into that of the book of life. You have what is also true in that of this home. You have that of the overseers that are sent out. Just remember the overlords are the ones that uphold law, system, order. And they have to be loved so. Because there are so many in what is called other species throughout your solar system and throughout your planetary systems that are causing great unrest, just as Earth is now. So it has to be monitored. Earth is not to be destroyed. It may have to go through some levels of purification. It's all up to mankind. It's all up to those have the ability to shift and to change their consciousness individually, by group and by mass. Then in these headquarters, there are the watchers. And the watchers are those who work the grid systems, the ingress and the egress pathways to and fro from many systems, even from Earth. And are the creators of the mapping events and the roots of energy. You call it in that of your world the ley lines and the ley fields and that many travel. But they travel also within these ley fields and grid systems throughout your solar system. I am not going to spend too much time on each of what they do. I just want you to get an understanding what happens from the hub. What are they doing there? What are these overlords doing overseas and those that work also with them in their positions of appointment? You see, beloved souls, there are timekeepers. But the timekeepers are those that manage the time intervals throughout space, time, and into timelessness. It's the timekeepers that are watching and recording the various events that change upon the planet, the constellations, and its rhythms. Meaning they are monitoring what is happening upon Earth, and even the destructive means that are being used, in particular, let us say, and we'll use an example, Earth, by mankind, by the military, by the scientists, and so forth. They are being monitored by the watchers. 
It is the watchers that will send out the scouts from the floating cities to be able to come into your vibration so that you are and have been able to see them and will even more as time continues. They will help to an extent to ward off the dangers. That is what they've been doing for a long time. Of the upsetting of the earth's rhythm until it is deemed necessary to allow the earth herself to change by the natural course of events such as the volcanoes and the earthquakes or the floods and the fires, it doesn't matter. They will assist in the measuring of time zones to create a paradigm to start again or those things of noon. Everything that is occurring, even as this event is coming forth in 2012, was set up eight on the go to come exactly at this moment of time to be because of what it is going to do. Not only for you, beloved souls, not just for mankind and the earth, but the complete solar system and the galaxy. And it also has ripple effect, even to other galaxies. But even with the macro effect of change within a dimensional rhythm, that is different. It's a different time frame. Some is in timelessness, and it cannot be of the damage by these ripple vibrations of what is occurring in your galaxy or solar system. What I'm saying to you is there's so many differentiations of the plateaus of the magnificent time intervals of exchange and change that is so much higher than within your solar system or even other solar systems. There are multiple. There are different ranges of the rhythm of simply energy, frequency. So I am speaking to you of your solar system. From that hub, there are technicians, of course, like your astronauts. And they keep the mechanics of high communication in working orders. Taking care of the workings of the fire crystals that are throughout many of what is called that of the solar systems and galaxies. These fire crystals have chargers. They are also set up into that of the lay field and are creating the energy of ley lines for the transmitting and the receiving of information to the pyramids. We have pyramids throughout all that of the solar systems, constellations, planets, throughout space and time, many different levels of the pyramids, such as yours here upon that Earth is for Earth. It appears to be in its solid form, however, in the inverted position of it, it is not. It is a fire crystal with mapping roots and far more. They take care of all modes of travel, spaceships, as you understand it, subterranean ships, wheels of mechanization, all modes of travel. And there are those that have that in a way to instantaneously teleport, rearrange what is called that of the mechanism and the vibration of their embodiments to where they can go from one point to another very quickly. So there's much. You have the communicators, the record keepers. These are the global communicators that record all events throughout time. 
and they keep them in a fail-safe system. They record the events that are happening. They code them to be decoded at certain time intervals throughout life experiences. They keep records of the events of souls, involution, and evolution progress. Yours. The birthing of the souls that are taking new embodiments. And their places of acclimatization and learning. You see, beloved soul, in your solar system, you have many, many souls that are taken on many different embodiments. The two are being overseen and recorded by way of the naturalness of progress. Not particularly termed evolution and evolution as we have spoke to you about on your earth plane, but nevertheless, they still must grow. They must grow by their telepathic thought. Must have the ability to go through force fields. They have to learn to do this. They have the ability to graduate, but they have to exhaust their thinking, their thought process, what it is that they are used to, just as you are having to change your thought processes, more positive, more positive. They have to be more positive as well. Positive, negative is also a law of nature because it is under that of the law of free will and free choice. It works differently, of course, in different systems of life. But it is all that all the same because you are all learning to graduate. And in the graduations, you're learning to ascend. From one dimension, one realm, one system, one world, to another, and to another, and to another. That of what is called Sagittarius is a small galaxy. And there are many small galaxies throughout your universe. And every time that of the consciousness, and I will use this solar system again, begins to change and has out of a graduation and then has out of a group consciousness that can transcend and also ascend, it also creates a shift and a change in the spheres. I know that it is difficult to comprehend how can this be, but it be. It is the collective consciousness that changes much to what I was called out, throughout your world, as well as when you ascend, what you take with you, what you have done, then moves also that of the other worlds, or spheres, dimensions, and realms, and they too, whom have the ability to graduate, they're the same as you, but in different ways. So what I'm saying to you, this little small galaxy is now having the ability to be absorbed, or let us say, to be taken in, into that of the Lord's galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy that you understand. It's being consumed. And then for that galaxy, it becomes larger and larger. You have multiple counterparts of you. In the very beginning, remember, you were taken and placed into, again, an example of 144,000 counterparts. It's far more. But that is a way for you to understand within the finite mind of mathematics. You will not be able to comprehend it, but you call that of millions. So just think of the 144,000. And all these different aspects of yourself are in every way of life. To the spheres, to many of the planets, 
those beloved souls that are coming to you, such as your angels, your mentors. These two are a part of you. That is why there is so many that will come to Adarak and Jamikaleo, because you're in the blue flame. You are a part of that group consciousness where an I be. Or there are others who will go to the Archangel Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Ariel, Zachiel. It matters not. It is those group of what is called your counterparts that are being brought to you to what is called that of this Dane of teaching. Just understand there is many, many fractionalizations or thoughts of you that are experiencing all simultaneously at the same time. What a magnificent tapestry. What a magnificent creator its otherness is. The magnitude and the magnificence of it is extraordinary. And you, this individual being that is hearing me right at this moment, you are so spectacular. If you could only see you as I see you, with all that, oh, the kaleidoscope of colors that is your subtle body fields, that's emitting magnificent energy in the colors, and how you're learning. And yes, the learning in this earth plane, with your physical body, with the emotional body, that is why you came to experience emotion, energy in motion, by way of how you think and how you process that thought through that of the mental, emotional, and the physical to be experienced. It's actually a very, very simple way, beloved souls, and yet very difficult. In that of this hub, you have far more. You have patrollers, and they are those, in essence, the commanders, like your um, military. And they are the commanders of the solar system that keep invaders from going in and out of other planetary systems, and also yours. There have been many that had come into the Earth plane. And so there were many that then were positioned around the golden ban about the earth. Just think of it as a full shield. So one would not be able to enter until another time frame begins. You have many different species in your world that are not from earth. You have many. Some are holding the positiveness of light that are here to help you, some also reign into that of the inner worlds, such as through that of your vortices, the Sandy Christos Mountains, the Rocky Mountains, the Tetons, some are throughout that of the desert floors, in those hidden, magnificent cities within the desert floors, those that are within that of the subterranean ocean floors, there are those that are watching, observing, and are also even walking at times among them. There are those that are not spiritual. There are some that are simply scientific. There are those beloved souls that are also among that of the species of the humans that are not kind, more from what is called that of oh, the negative force, or simply think of as negative thinking, once again, even those species from other planetary systems have to still go through the same thing in multiple ways that you are on Earth. To live, some are also surviving, having to find new places, to interact with others, but that is not what I'm going to speak to you about tonight. Another time, I will give you more explanation 
on that subject matter. There are more and more that are going to be on the scene. When this aspect of this configuration, the event, begins, this will begin what is called a new way of being. It's a new beginning. And also from the hub, beloved soul, the center of your solar system, there is also many, many motherships and their scouts. But think of a mothership, because there are many, but then that is the ethereum of what is called that of um, your world. You cannot see them, beloved souls, but they are mothering. They are recording. They are assisting. They're telepathic assisting many of you. That is one of the first divine interventions that was occurring on Earth by that of the angels, whom are also that of, the extraterrestrials, to that one calls that of, the galactic systems. Remember, there are floating cities. They're placed in different locations to continue to overview your system, to watch Earth and what the consciousness is doing, light or dark are those that are positive and those that are negative. And because Earth at this time, your world in the solar system, has become more negative, is becoming more destructive, they are overseeing it because the mindset means that it can be instantly triggered into chaos. All they need to do is to push buttons. So yes, they are being monitored. They are being watched. These are magnificent beings, beloved soul, that are part of you. These are that all the galactic beings, extraterrestrials, if you want to call them that, who are also angels in that of the physically etheric worlds that is helping you to go through these initiations because you are incredibly important to the advancement not only of this world civilization but many they are waiting for you souls of light to be that demonstration and it is good and you must understand, beloved beings, these are beautiful beings, but understand, you need them, yes, and their expertise, and their abilities, but they also need you, and what it is that you are choosing to do to come into more and more light, and to awaken more and more to your gifts and your abilities, so it is good. There are, there are many different, what is called that of the planets. And I did have my oracle receive the image of the tones. The tones, beloved son, from Saturn, and let me give you an understanding. I took my oracle long ago to visit some of these planetary systems before we came forth to write the book. I told her that you must first always ask entrance by that of the doorkeeper of each of these planetary systems. When you enter, it took her into that of the communication room. And what she saw, beloved soul, was columnars and columnars, not columns, columnars. They were in a magnificent metal. She thought it was silver, but it's called tulinium. It is a metal that is not understood on Earth at this time. 
And these colonels had magnificent wheels within wheels that circled from the bottom to the top. They were tilted at many different degrees. Telepathically, the centurions, those that are the communicators, and also that of oh, the transmitters and the receivers, utilize this kind of mechanism to send knowledge, information, through the spheres to the real stations of other systems. The rings about Saturn are multiple levels of fire crystals. Crystals within crystals within crystals that looks and appears to be like a ring that is used by the telepathic being and beings even when mind group consciousness works these communication devices, depending on what it is that they are having to send. And it resonates out in the vibration of these tones and these chords. The telepathic thought is being resonated out to be received. They are sending a message or messages or giving them understanding of the patterns of the grid systems or the routing and the mapping systems or the travel of wherein those would be. That is why I wanted you to hear that vibration. Not just to hear it, but when one does hear it, there is also a communication that also has come forth into the vibration of one's mind. And what I'm saying, it can unlock it can simply bring you into a meditative state if we were to leave it on for a long time. Just like I tell many that there is sometimes ringing of the ear. It does not mean that there is not problems sometimes with the physical ear, but this is a very sharp ring. And sometimes like an SOS code. And this is that of sounds that are being sent. There's all the computation sequence of coding. And when one hears that, one can simply put his hand over his ear and just listen. And that the inspiration of thought will come, or an idea, or a feeling, and sometimes not at all. Sometimes it's simply a programming. Now that sounds very scientific. But understand, beloved ones, you are spiritual beings. You are intergalactic beings. You worked these mechanisms long ago. You are part of these mechanisms, this high level of technology, that is the ability of telepathy, many different levels of the telepathic room, language. You have teleported. You have worked out of the Vanmona ships. You have worked out of hydrostatic pressure, the workings of what is called latent mercury in order to fuel and to use what is called them. some of these means for flight. You knew how to work in what is called that of them, the propulsion effect. So sometimes when these things come, it would be by that of your council, those that are working with you. But you coded some of this information long ago that needs to be decoded, which means is then to be sent to you to open for you to have that memory or to awaken to that latent gift or ability. It's happening. It's going to happen even more, more and more, beloved souls, as time goes on. So I wanted purposely to have her play what is called those tones for those of the hearing. No, I want to come and talk to you a bit about the solar cross when this happens. Understand the solar cross is going to be spread out throughout the galaxy. And it is and will be working with so many of you. The quantum reality of what is called that of this energy that the solar cross is going to be emitting. It is going to be that of um, programmed as this energy is going to be spreading out 
throughout what is called your galaxy, your solar system, your planetary system, as others. And for those that can receive it, it's going to be going into that of your DNA. The power grids, the ley lines, the ley fields, all the grids of Earth will be affected. Those of you that are ready, those that would be ready on Earth, that have the ability to accept this vibration and learn to handle the higher frequencies will begin to open even more than you have before. For those whom cannot, will not, they simply won't and go on their way. There will be more seeing of miracles. There will be more that will be taking place upon your skies than one that cannot no longer deny. Your own lives as well will be able to have more of the observing of sightings and conjoining with more of the galactic beings who will come more and more to individuals two groups, and to the masses. This is another part of the divine intervention. This really is a time for a divine intervention to help mankind to open and awaken into the magnificence of love for those that are ready, for those to be the demonstration of why you chose to come, to be that star seed awakening you're a God awakening. That means a learned one that is awakening to be able to open those innate abilities, those gifts of specialty. And it can be the gifts that are so simple that sometimes the greatest gifts, the gifts that you can learn to use for yourself to be of the given of the right direction, to be of the taken, the gifts that you can help humankind so they can understand what is happening and maybe can move more and more into that stream of light. But you must let go. When the soul cross comes, it's not the end of the world, it's the beginning of a magnificent new world. But you have to claim it. You have to know that it is a new world. You have to let go of fear. And understand, no, it's not going to be immediate. Remember, I said there's going to be chances of changes of what is called those things that will come into your life, that will give you the experiences, that will continue on into this magnificent evolution for you to let go of all fear, come back home, come back to God, come back to source, come back to your creator. Love, surrender to the ultimate of love, beloved beings. That is what this is about. Those that can will be making changes in the cosmic consciousness and global awarenesses. Solar Cross is pouring out a magnitude of divine light to assist you, to assist many in its demonstration of light. Oh, the miracles, the times of awakening. Every one of you, beloved, should be so happy. So happy, beloved soul. It's the age of Aquarius, the age of illumination. Times to experience more higher technology, meaning the innate abilities that you know and how to offset what is going on in the world of duality. The inventions. The abstract ideology, which is that of ethereal philosophies that will be birthed to many of you that are the star seeds, star light, star children, those that are becoming more and more light because of their demonstration, because of what they know, because of who they be, continues forward. You see, beloved soul, what's on the earth now? is now between the Lemurian energy and the Atlantean energy, and more. And I will speak to you also at another time about that differentiation. 
The ends of Aquarius is those you must keep your faith. And know it's a beautiful, beautiful time to excel in all levels of life. This is where you're learning. Don't fall prey to the illusion. Don't fall prey to the actions of the illusional world. Duality. You're going to have to stand strong and steadfast in the truth of light. And the only key is being loved. I know, beloved soul, there's going to be many changes, many shifts. There's going to be weather changes, environmental, social, political, economical, and far more. The spheres of the global shifts will cause many changes to the earth surrounding the weather patterns and the global shifts. It is all okay. And yes, I know there's greed. I know there's misuse of power. I know there's cruelties beyond, just beyond what is called that of beloved souls. But one can even imagine, if one could see, and see the wholeness of the earth all at one time, as I can see the universe all at one time. But understand, I see the ascension. And yes, I am calling the legions of light together throughout the spheres. Because many are going to be needing of that assistance. But it's a great time. We are rejoicing. It's not easy to be in a human body and to have those emotions and to have to feel and to see such deprivation and havoc and chaos. But you don't have to see it. You must see through the God eye, the eye in the center of your forehead. And when you see it, you will pass through it. You will see why. You will see what the outcome will be. You will see love in all things. It is not easy. It is a learning. And it does take practice and more practice. Continue forth to be about your father and mother's business. But be, just be, love your moment. Love is the key. Love your beingness. Love who you are. Love where you are. Love what it is you're choosing to do. If you feel that it's a mistake, there are no mistakes. It's simply what you so have chose to experience. So you go forward. You learn from it. Learn from it. You are divine beings. And you are all so loved. Begin to love you as much. And love all of mankind as much. Don't fall prey to the illusion and fall into the pocket of negativity. Yes, you will, at some times, just to learn to get stronger. But in time, when you come back home while you hold this body, when you connect into that center, that flower of fire, there is no thing that you cannot do upon this earth. And you will do it in love. And you will have that understanding. And it will be good. That means you will be God. You'll be the co-creator with the creator. And doing exactly what it is you have chose to come to do so love it. It's a magnificent time, so be very, very happy. Be happy and rejoice and find joy. Joy is the inner peace you find within. Happiness is just those fleeting moments of something happening that cause you gaiety. But it's joy that you're also choosing to find. The contentment from within, that of the inner peace, and the knowing that all is well. So, beloved souls, I that I can make it up, say unto you always, Adonai, Adonai, Basu, Barogus. 
It is your eternal breath, and it is the breath that is within all. And when it's out of your vasu, the vessel, this physical body, beloved soul, that you are holding, love it. Take care of it. Keep it strong. Because within, we are all one. Throughout the true creations of creations. I leave thee now. Archangel Michael, and you have just watched an Archangel Michael teaching by way of a lecture and read-along. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to know more about what we do, just go to our website at archangelmichaelteachings.com. Thanks for joining us.